a top two hitter on the Mariners in 2024 so far. Dominic Canzone, not known for his defense, unfortunately made a stellar play in the Sunday finale against the Cubs, in which he ran into a wall tracking down a fly ball in left field. This was later on revealed to be an AC joint sprain, which would set him out for about four to six weeks. Tough for Dom, the team leader in home runs at this point in time. A 137 WRC plus up there with Mitch Hanniger has been one of the better off, like the guy offensively that you're like, okay, he's up in a big spot. Let's see if he can do some damage. Dom Canzone, after a rocky, like first, like seven or eight ABs, turned it around and seemingly took away Luke Rayleigh's playing time. With this injury, it's very, very unfortunate. Now the Mariners will look to replace him on the Major League roster. Obviously, the easy answer here is that Luke Rayleigh will see more innings. He will get a chance to show what he can do because in the last week or so, Luke Rayleigh really hasn't done anything because he hasn't seen any playing time. Now, against right-handed pitching, Luke Rayleigh should be in there out in left field. Julio in center, Mitch Hanniger in right. We saw Luke Rayleigh actually start in Sunday's game in center field. Did not have the best game offensively. Looked like he was, you know, trying to hustle out, beat out some, you know, slow hit ground balls, wherever. Had a line drive that was caught. Not the best day at the plate and a pretty tough loss all around on Sunday. Not, not fun at all. But with Dominic Canzone going on the injured list, that means there's a roster spot opening up. And I think there are three guys down in Tacoma that make the most sense. First off, we're going to start here with Samad Taylor got brought up when Ty France went on the fraternity list, provides you with some right-handed bench utility, speed utility, and overall just can play all around the field. Seems like a spark plug kind of guy. Now overall in Tacoma, Samad's not having the greatest start to his year in 20 at bats. He's only batting 143 with a 314 OBP and a 600 OPS. He's popped one homer, stole three bags, We know what we're gonna get out of Samad Taylor for the most part, is a guy that can be a spark plug. Like the first time we saw him in Milwaukee, laid down a bunt and was causing chaos. And that is who I would lean towards the Mariners bringing up again, because you've got Luke Rayleigh, now you're probably not looking at another left-handed outfielder as part of your bench, because they'd play a similar role. But if they were to go with a left-handed hitting outfielder, a guy that saw major league innings in 2023, is Cade Marlowe, a guy that is also down in Tacoma. Now, if for some reason they don't want to bring up Samad Taylor, they want to give someone else a shot, or they feel that like Samad will just compete with Dylan Moore, who's been playing pretty well, I can maybe understand going to a traditional, just strict outfielder with Cade Marlowe. Normally, I might say Sam Haggerty here, but with him starting on the injured list on the year, I know they're probably wanting him to just continue to ramp up. So Cade Marlowe up next year in 50 at-bats down in Tacoma. Let's pop two homers driven in nine runs, stolen 10 bags, hitting 200 with a 311 OBP and a 631 OPS. Last year, Cade had some great moments in the big leagues. Obviously, the grand slam off of Carlos Estevez was a huge one against the Angels. And after that, it kind of seemed like he started getting exposed, getting found out. And that happens with a lot of the guys that the Mariners get called up is they have spurts where they're looking hot. And then the moment something goes wrong, it just starts to domino effect. Maybe Cade Marlowe has figured out the strikeout problem. I know it's something that has bugged him in the past. So far in 2024 in the minor leagues in Tacoma, he's got 27 strikeouts across those 50 at-bats. So not doesn't seem like it has been figured out fully for Cade Marlowe, but that is another option for the Mariners to go to. I don't think he'd take many starts or innings away from Luke Rayleigh, be more so a defensive replacement maybe for Mitch Hanniger late in the game, or if you're wanting to get Mitch a day off, that would be a scenario for him. A guy that I think is more of a dark horse than anything in this scenario is a guy in the top 10 Mariners prospect system. And no, I'm not talking about Lazaro or Johnny Farmello tearing it up down in Modesto. I'm talking about the number 10 overall prospect, Jonathan Classe, a guy that is known for his like 70 grade speed and has had some strikeout problems in the past. Now, Jonathan Classe is in Tacoma right now. He's a switch hitting center fielder, but we know he'd be playing left field where it might be okay defensively because there were times in spring where he didn't look fully sound out there in center, but the speed plays up enough 
And another issue with him has been the strikeouts. In 2023, across his entire minor league season, in 129 games, he struck out 165 times. And 501 at-bats is a pretty pretty rough strikeout rate overall. We know what he's able to do on the base paths. Whether or not he's able to get on them if he's striking out too much is a problem. In 2023, it didn't really seem to figure itself out when he was in Arkansas. And that was the majority of the time he spent in the minors in 108 of those 129 games he struck out 137 times so in tacoma so far this year he's only struck out 10 times across 39 at bats so it's okay and he's got that really high speed potential but he's also just hitting pretty well down in tacoma as it stands like i said 39 at bats he's hitting 308 with a 404 OBP and a 1,045 OPS. He's popped two homers, driven in 11 runs. Jonathan Class A, I think, is a sleeper to potentially get called up here. Now, all three of these guys are part of the Mariners 40-man roster as it currently stands, so there wouldn't really need to be any moves made there. And comment down below of who out of these three you'd like to see between Simon Taylor, Cade Marlowe, and Jonathan Class A. Realistically, I think if Sam Haggerty continues to hit while well, he's hitting 375 in limited action while he's working up, maybe Haggerty then gets called up if any of these three that potentially make the team are struggling. But not good news for the Mariners, Dom Canzone being out. I don't want to say, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this video because it's not great news regardless, but go Mariners!